Hi everyone. Happy Friday. I got my desk cleaned up before I started talking to you. Julian, I am not craving chocolate. I am craving gum. I just want a stick of gum. It's so stupid. And I don't know where I could get one right now. And I never have gum in the house. I don't know what you guys, my hair is so dirty. It is so bad. So tomorrow I'm going to have a new video for you. Pretty excited. A day in the life because I didn't get to do one. What is happening here? Where does this one go? Ugh, I didn't get to do one for February. Hi, Germany. Hi, Julie. Um, because I just couldn't pull it off with our vacation and everything. Um, but you're going to see my hair is still dirty. So when you watch tomorrow's video, you'll know that I filmed it like a couple days ago. My hair is still filthy. What's happening here? Um, <laughs> what is that? Uh, my kids took a bubble bath the other day and they used all my shampoo. So it's just really gross here. It's just really, really gross. I only wash my hair like once a week. And so it's just beyond nasty. Thank goodness for dry shampoo. But I think I have overused my dry shampoo. Uh, I think I've played my dry shampoo card. Um, my pillow is doing, going to make me mask. Oh my gosh. Next video, Ange cuts her own hair. Seriously. Because I think I trust myself more than anyone else besides Andre. So I am just thinking he does my hair with a razor. <laughs> I actually told my daughter, I'm like, we are going to learn how to cut our hair with a razor. For like the next, uh, oh gosh, shadows in here are wonky. Um, I'm in my new office. So I'm experimenting with lighting. So if it looks a little freaky deaky, it is. Um, because it's really, really dark in here, like really dark. I have these cute little lamps and that's about the, that is the only light in here aside from my filming light, which is just terrifying at this point. I look like I'm standing next to the sun. Jarell, Tracy, Adrian is on her fourth day of dry shampoo. Oh, that's nothing girl. <laughs> Brooke, Serena, Adrian, when you finally do wash your hair, Aren't you just so glad you're, you're thinking the whole time, oh, this isn't so bad. This isn't so bad. And then you wash it after a week of dry shampoo and it's just soft and fluffy and you realize, uh, what you're missing. Julie's packing up her winter coat and boots. Unfair. Uh, I can't use apple cider vinegar because my hair is colored. I used to um, make my own shampoo and rinse my hair in vinegar, but then I started coloring my hair and that's no bueno for, for hair color. No sound again. Uh, Sharon, maybe turn it up. I'm assuming everyone else can hear me. Hmm, there's a little button on the bottom. Maybe you need to drag the, the sound bar up. Hi, Terry, thank you. Is having trouble hearing me? Okay, if you're having trouble hearing me, here we go again. Can you hear me now? <laughs> Tell me. I told Aiden not to go too far. No sound. Fabulous. How can some people be talking to me and some people say no sound? That makes me want to cry. Sound fine. Sound is fine, loud and clear. Yes, we can hear. Cannot hear well. Holy crap. I give up. Is that better? All oh, you receiving me? A little loud. Oh my gosh. I can't win with you people. Just kidding. Okay. Hi, Judy. Hi, Elizabeth. Fabulous. I can hear you, but it's low. That is really annoying. Hmm. I don't know if I should mess with these little knobs or what. Rats. I hate that. Office to our wall waiting, please. Well, Julie, I want to film it for YouTube. What is going on with my bronzer? This lighting is scary. Holy crap. Um, I know, Sarah, I'm the same way. I can't hear anything. Sound is just perfect. Okay. 
Don't whisper. I will not whisper, Emily. I don't know which one of these. It looks like a, you guys, it looks like NASA in here. I have so much equipment these days. <laughs> There's just lights over here and lights and everything. I could put on my freaky headphones for you. It's crazy. Um, okay, so the office. This was my daughter's room. And it is now mine. So I'm pretty jazzed because... My office was in the greenhouse downstairs and uh, the first and second story, I know you guys heard me say this a million times, but the first and second story are greenhouse and there's like holes in the floor this big. So our bedroom's on one level and then the greenhouse is on the bottom and then it goes like right down to the basement. So if the kids are playing down there or they're up in the attic, it's just super loud. And so I figured with the podcast, I needed to... Um, have something a little bit more professional so I'm here in like a closed room and also the greenhouse is like a main thoroughfare like people are always going in and out to get outside or to go to the basement so it was really it was just awful <laughs> as far as trying to do business which I have to do um so yeah so now I'm in this room where I can actually close the door they're downstairs watching their Friday night movie night. I think they went with Sea Biscuit or A Wrinkle in Time, which I have not seen. Um, but yeah, Naked Ladies. Yes, Joyce, there's Naked Ladies. I love Naked Ladies. I love like statues. If that's offensive, I'll just go like this. <laughs> I don't think I can block all of them. That's my collection. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. I'm really sorry about the sound. I don't know what to tell you. I don't understand why some people can hear me and some people can't. But I do that all the time where I forget to turn YouTube up on the bottom of the video. So I don't know if that would help. I don't know if that's a thing. Susan Sue is going to get chocolate from the freezer and wine. She'll be right back. I have water. I don't think I have any wine in here. I don't. <laughs> um, Venus du Milo. Yep, I love her. She's beautiful. Amazing. I love my statues. I wish I had more. Um, Remy likes the kitchen. Thank you. Susan, what kind of, Sue, what kind of chocolate are we consuming this evening? I'm not a big, plain chocolate person. I like chocolate dessert. Like, I love a good piece of chocolate cake or a chocolate tart or, you know, like one of those lava cakes or something, but chocolate mousse. But I don't really crave, like, plain chocolate. If I do, it has to be at least 72% with some sea salt. I mean, let's be real. Yeah. Wonderful. Stacy made the bread this week and used it for bruschetta. That sounds fabulous. We had tacos. We're pretty, um, we're pretty typical. <laughs> Friday night is taco night or Friday night is pizza. Usually it's taco night. So I made just a huge vat of beans and um, ooh, creme brulee. Now that sounds good. Oh my goodness. Can't adjust YouTube on the phone. No idea why. Rats. I don't know what to do about the sound, guys. I really hope you can hear it. And I hope that it records. I could just turn all my knobs up and you can tell me when it starts working. But then I'm messing with all my podcast knobs. I'm just going to turn them all up a smidge. See if that helps you. Um, a Chicago meetup during your next hair appointment. Here's the thing about going to Chicago. That's where my family is. And it's exhausting. I never get to see my friends. I never get to see my cousin. I obviously am morally obligated and love to see my mom. It's just a whirlwind every time. I have um, some friends from fr uh, French friends that live outside Chicagoland. I have not seen them in two years. I have my old French tutor. I haven't seen him. It's just like crazy. I need to be able to go for a longer period of time because I'm usually like, whoop, whoop, I'm back and forth in like 48 hours. <laughs> Adrian has a huge European bowl that's surrounded by naked water babies. She adores it. Water Babies is a good book. That's a classic. I have that. Hi, Joyce. I'm glad you're here. I know. Is everybody? Uh, oh, my gosh. Sharon can't hear it. She's going to leave. That is sad. Hmm. So sorry. 
I'm so sorry, Sharon. That's disappointing. Um, Water Babies is a good book. What was I saying? Picking asparagus, Julie, you're picking asparagus. I'm still just moving rocks and planting seeds. I did put up four new uh, grow lights in the greenhouse today. So I was really, really happy about that. Joel helped me hang them from the ceiling. And it's just look legit out there. So much so that I can't sleep because the light shines up in my bedroom and it's just like pink. There's just six pink crazy grow lights. Julie, oh yum, yum, we can stay at the Drake. Julie, stop it. Can we stay at the Drake? I would love that. We could have high tea at the Drake. That would be amazing. That would be amazing. Um, salted caramel truffles sound fabulous. Rice Krispies last night. I could just murder a bowl of Rice Krispies with just nasty white sugar on top or honey. That sounds really good. I haven't had anything like that in so long lint 90 percent. Ooh, that's like that's like eating chalk that's legit 90 percent is a little intense for me sometimes I'll mix like an 85 with a 72 for a dessert but 90 percent that's um takes some bravada there good job Emily was making masks for her son who works in the ICU you guys what is happening bless your heart um did I, Brooke wants to know if I ever planted lavender from seed. You guys, if I miss something, I'll just try to circle back around or, or ask me again. Um, yes, but did I, but you know, sometimes you let a tray dry out. And I think a couple years ago, I did a whole tray of lavender from seed and it, I got it, it germinated and everything. And I must have killed it somehow because it never made its way to the garden. I don't remember. Hmm. I wonder if I can hear on my phone. That is uh, curiouser and curiouser. French hot chocolate sounds good. It really does. It really, really does. Let me see if I can hear on my phone. Oh, Sabrina, don't let them laugh at you. I can hear myself. Where's me? Uh, mm, sorry, guys. Um, it's okay. Stop talking. I can't stand the sound of my voice. <laughs> it's the worst thing about editing videos. I'm like, I can't listen to myself talk again. I can't take it. Oreo cream cheese cookies. I know. Starving for treats. I'm so full. I just actually like popped a bunch of doTERRA food enzymes because I, I did eat some taco meat. <laughs> Like, it was delicious. And I'm a little full. I am thirsty. Excuse me. Oh, Julie left a whole tray of basil in the sun. It happens once I left all my seedlings out behind the back door of the farm, our old farm. Beautiful broccoli and cabbage. And oh, I was so proud of them. And my chickens got them. Duh. I had free, free range chickens. What did I expect? My bad. That's when you run to the nursery and you're so grateful for the modern convenience of just running to the nursery. Lindsay's going to take an acre of her farm and turn it into a lavender field. That sounds awesome. I would like to get really good at lavender cuttings so I could do that. I would love to turn a yard into a lavender field, but I think I have those four squares in my garden in the circle in the center. And I think I would like to fill those four squares with maybe a few roses and just all lavender underplant and maybe do a box hedge around the edges like a nice parterre kind of look we'll see I found a really great I hope I mean I need to order some but I boxwood is so expensive I did some cuttings last year I killed them I'm going to keep trying until I become really good at it um and but I did find a place to get boxwood um bare root I don't know if that's stupid, if it will just take so many years to fill in. It's very, very, very afford. They're very affordable. So we'll see. I don't know. Spectrum Hospital. Oh, my goodness. Hmm. So, wow. 
Why do I feel like my smart friends in high school went to Spectrum? Does Spectrum have like an advanced school or something like that? I don't remember Spectrum Hospital. I remember like Butterworth and St. Mary's and stuff, but I... I feel like all the a handful of smart kids we were really sad when they left because they pulled them out of Creston and they put them in I feel like they went to a school called Spectrum. I don't know. I could be wrong. Hmm. Yeah, Bear Root from um the uh the National Arbor Society, I think. I mean they're they're cheap. They're like four dollars and eighty cents a piece or something like that, which is outrageous. Back in the day, you used to be able to get boxwood at Walmart and Home Depot for so cheap. Like out, outrageously cheap, five, ten bucks. And now they're, 20, they're at least $25 for just this little tiny thing. Like who could ever, a box, boxwood is for hedges, you know. I mean, I, I've had some like ornamental like topiary cone shaped ones, but if you're going to make a hedge, who can do that? Hmm. Spectrum is the hospital. I don't remember that one. I remember going to Plaster Creek on a field trip and they told us that that's where they used to get all the plaster for the casts. Like when you broke your arm. Casts. <laughs> In Grand Rapids. I can still see that creek. Rosemary Hedges sounds lovely. Arbor Day Foundation? I think so. Yeah, Just if you just Google, I bet if you Google Arbor day bare root boxwood it'll come up we can't do rosemary hedges here because they die but that does sound really great that sounds amazing mine are so big in my greenhouse they're huge they just did they overwintered so well i'm giddy they're just huge they're so big i'm just wondering if i should just leave them in the pot instead of transplanting them and just put the pot out like in the pea gravel or something instead of fussing with the pricey annuals you know just have a big thing of rosemary spilling out there so boxwoods were cheap at Lowe's like seven dollars last week really I would have bought a bunch I don't have a Lowe's here I don't have anything like that here and it's not like back when you when I lived in Chicago and you could kind of go back every week I would just go back to those places and see what the prices were it's like maybe I get there once or twice during the season and then that's it you snooze you lose yeah it is it's outrageous boxwood are outrageous that's why I do want to uh get really good at at doing the cuttings so what's the best way to go around an herb garden um you can do it separate if you want it just depends on how many herbs you want to grow and how many of them are going to, you know, what zone you're in, how many of them are going to be perennials and how many you'll be replanting every year. I love herbs with roses. I used to, I mean, this is the, my last farm, my first garden, the herbs were mixed in with everything else. So I lined all the borders with thyme and things that would like spill out over the rocks and just had clumps of lavender here and there. I always did the lavender with the ladies mantle and roses. I love sage and roses, pink roses together because I love the dustiness of the sage leaf with the pink, the light pink of the rose. Um, but I do like a nice tidy little herb garden too that's just designated for herbs. So you could do like each herb in a pie shape, you know, in, in a wedge shape, do a circle. Lots of, lots of ideas there. Oh, let's see. Do I see? Did I see everyone? Um, Julia asked about fungus on roses. I, I mean, I know there's, goodness, what's it called? Black spot. I don't remember. I just um, usually, you know, spray them down with some sort of uh, fungicide or something, and I take the leaves off when they start to get. Um, yellow and spotted like that and I don't let any of the leaves drop to the ground I remove them so they're not going in the soil keep them really pruned and water at the base I try not to water my stuff from above like with a sprinkler because I'm just like the worst with powdery mildew on like uh, my whether it's zucchini or hollyhocks or um, what's another one that's really prone to fungus 
mildew powdery stuff uh, zinnia you know especially when you plant them too close together then they don't have that air circulation so cornbread muffins yum with maple syrup oh my gosh my mom used to make that yum and then in our family we make um, ham and beans to go with that with a bay leaf got to use a bay leaf with the ham and beans Maybe that's why I don't have bunnies here, Julie. Everybody always asks me if I have a rabbit problem, but we have so many, um, we have so much oregano. Like, it's just ridiculous. That's basically our lawn is thyme and oregano. So maybe that's why. Oh, I should have had Aiden bring, drink, bring, bring me more water. Don't watch me while I drink my water. I'm so thirsty. Yes, see, Sue, that's the same thing like the sage, that frosty light. Sue likes lamb's ear with her uh, roses. I love lamb's ear with roses. Love. Oh, man, I need water. Someone bring me some water. <laughs> oh, stop talking. There's me again. All right. How are you guys hanging in there? Um, how are we doing? Because it's a little crazy. <laughs> My husband's like, have you been dreaming a lot? I said, as a matter of fact, I'm dreaming like crazy. And then we each read this article in the news today about like that people are dreaming a lot because they're stressed out and they don't know what to do with their feelings. And I don't feel stressed. I feel like frustrated. I think I feel frustrated, but I can't wait to get out to the garden because I think that's going to really help. Excuse me. I'm very sidetracked. I'm so thirsty. I have to ask for some water. See if I can tear somebody away from what they're doing. Bring me some water. Oh, now Kathy can barely hear me. <laughs> Good. Oh, Julia, you're used to fungus fung fungicide. YouTube is not re receiving enough video. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Sue, that's awesome. I've only gone out like once or twice just because I, I needed to get out. I, I'm home all the time. Anyways, I needed to get out. I would love to just go to a thrift store and or an antique store, but... Um, Oh, that's awesome, Chelsea. Chelsea's kids are better behaved now that they're not going to daycare. That is good. Um, oh, golly. I was just going to tell you something. I am so distracted because I'm so thirsty. Somebody better bring me some water. Hold on. <laughs> hey, Lily. Can you bring me some water, please? I'm being huge glass. I don't know that taco meat's making me parched. Okay. I have a helper. Thank you. Miss Wireland liked the homeschool video. Thank you. Thank you. Day 16 for Joe. Wow. So we got back from Florida. Um, when did we get back? Like the 5th, I think. And we hit Costco on the way home. And then on Tuesday, I was supposed to go, th go to Phoenix for doTERRA. They canceled that. Thank goodness. But on Sunday night, I said to Joel, I said, I think I need to go to Costco tomorrow. We don't usually watch the news, but Joel's kind of been watching this whole storm brew for like the last few months. Excuse me while I chug. Ah. Gotta close my door, sweetie. And he told me, he told me before we went to Florida, he's like, if this starts to get really bad, we're not going. So we made it by the skin of our teeth. I went to, we went to Costco on the way home from Chicago because we landed in O'Hare. And um, then I went again on Monday. And by Friday, I think I told you guys this last week. Excuse me. Boring. By Friday, uh, my neighbors went and they said the line was clear to the back of the store. So I feel really grateful that I have what I need. Um, Jillian is asking if I've been uh, gravitating towards any oils during this intense time. I mean, I'm doing all my obligatory stuff just to keep the immune system really, really 
primo like we're consuming no sugar and everybody's on um the supplements i even just took the kids off the children's supplements and i'm giving them like a quarter dose of the adult of lifelong vitality everybody takes on guard once at least once a day i'd like to say two or three times a day but sometimes i forget the other doses uh and then ddr prime which is like a cellular repair oil so we're doing all that and um as far as oils that i'm gravitating to like maybe just emotionally i'm really enjoying neroli oil right now and um let's see what's another one that i just really been frankincense sometimes i get t i love frankincense for what it does but sometimes i get tired of the smell and i'm really loving that one and uh, Clary Calm, because apparently maybe I'm hormonal because that's a hormone balancing oil and I just, I don't typically love the way it smells and I really love it. I really love it right now. I was told not to whisper. So I, <laughs> I really am loving that one, so. How do I click to respond to others? Ooh, I think you just type in the comment box. And then I think if you put at and then start to type their name, their name will come up. That's what I can do. Um, do the doTERRA vitamins upset your stomach? Um, they don't. Anything else makes me violently ill, like within an hour. Um, that's the reason I take them, because they're the only thing I can take. They have, uh, like they call them a tummy tamer blend. So there's like peppermint and fennel. And there's certain like tummy calming essential oils in the supplements and I think that probably really helps because otherwise I cannot take uh vitamins no oh my goodness yeah the the airports look so crowded I just I don't know I kind of I don't watch the news I've been like checking it every once in a while just so I'm kind of mildly cognizant I got enough to know what's going on, right? But the airports, I saw a picture of an airport and the claustrophobic in me about freaked out just looking at the picture. It looked horrible. Hi, Jane. Happy Friday to you too. Oh, whole acre. Awesome. So some of the, some of the guests tonight are referencing, um, I did a live stream for my Patreons uh, for the Homemaker Chic podcast. So that was fun. Shay and I did our first live stream the other day. And it was like a party. And if you're on Patreon, and you, if you didn't get to see that, um, it's, what is it? Patreon.com forward slash Homemaker Chic podcast. You can see the replay. So that's, um, it was a lot of fun. That was really fun. I needed that really bad because I was having a bad day. So... Yep, Emily's. I heard zinc is supposed to be really good. Husband hates all essential oils. Is there something men like more? I mean, my husband likes ones like Balance. He likes frankincense a lot. He likes, um, I mean, I think like the, the guy oils like sandalwood and cedarwood, vetiver. I think any of those like resin, tree sappy kind of oils are going to be much better for a guy if he doesn't like oils. You know, my husband never goes, hand me the lavender. You know, but he does like vetiver, so. Huh. So true. So true. Sorry. I want to see where we're... I hate to miss anybody. Lindsay was asking how the weather is here. It's, um... <laughs> oh, Sue, we're going to make the... We're going to make the t-shirt. The care in your trash is showing t-shirt is coming. The weather here is um, pretty typical. I think it was in the low 40s today. It was wonderful. And yesterday, the sun was out. There was I woke up in the middle of the night last night, and I could see all the stars from I had a lot of windows in my bedroom. I could see all the stars, and I haven't been able to see the stars in weeks. It's just been cloudy all the time. And so... The sun was brilliant this morning and there was just frost on the garden and the old vines that were left there were covered in frost. I should have gone out and grabbed my camera, but I was too tired, but it was beautiful. And then sure enough, within an hour, the clouds blew in. Joel said, do you want to go get a latte? He's like, doesn't a latte sound good? I was like, yes, it does. I haven't had a latte in weeks. It sounds fabulous. 
So we went the long way because the road is like the one road up here is under construction. And so we went into Fish Creek, which is like two towns away and got our curbside latte and wiped it down, which was gross. And it's so weird. He went to Ace Hardware the other day, curbside, and he called from the kitchen, said, Angela needs gardening gloves. You know, what do you have? They told him, he paid for him over the phone, and they brought him out to the vehicle. Is anybody else doing that, like curbside stuff? Well, that's about the only two errands we've ran in the last 10 days or so, aside from just like two quick trips to the grocery store, but there's about four people there. So um, it uh, it's weird. It's very weird. Ireland is on lockdown. Oh, man. Oh, Adrian. Oh, that's okay. I felt so bad that I keep having to let you back in. I am anxious for spring too. It's just um, when you do live in negative weather, Lindsay, you're right. 40 to 45 is like bikini season. When you're, when you've done 15 below, pff, anything over 38 is like, ow, let's do this. Yeah. Kings and country live. What's that? Do I need to watch that? He is. He is. He is. Total curbside here. It's very bizarre. It's just bizarre. I I mean, our town is just normally so quiet in the winter. And I guess this is still technically, it's spring, but you know, it's not tourist season yet. And I drove into the post office. I waited till it closed. Wiped down the handle, the, like the door, the door handle. Went to my P.O. box, got my mail, came home and... I don't think I hardly passed another soul in five miles. It was so bizarre. It was just just kind of creepy and sad. So. <laughs> I can't stand people watching me drink. Next time I won't eat tacos right before we do this. I'm so thirsty. I used a ton of taco seasoning and I think it's too much salt. I'll wake up tomorrow with puffy fingers. I'm getting a message that you guys are going to be, I'm going to be buffered. So sorry about that. Our internet has been total crap here today. Michael's Craft Store is doing curbside service. Uh, curbside, it really like, it's not really as fun, is it? Like we like to look at the merchandise. We like to sort of decide what we want and a lot of times we buy a little bit more than what we went in for and so even when Joel bought me the gardening gloves I said please like I want the specific kind I want them really tight I want the rubber on the inside you know nice and grippy I need them to feel like my hands he's like I'm not gonna describe that to the guy over the phone you're just gonna get what you get Oh my goodness, 75 and 80 and 91 in Florida. Whoo, fabulous. Oh my goodness. Sarah got four inches of snow. See, I know, and you're in Maine. Okay, I am trying to just tell myself it's probably going to snow again, but I hope it doesn't. I figured out, I remembered day before yesterday, wait, what is today? The 27th? Okay, so on the 23rd, my garden celebrated its third year anniversary, its third birthday. I think that's when we, if you see the gardening videos and you see like the kids out in like shorts and a tank top with snow boots shoveling, <laughs> shoveling snow out of the way so we can start to build the rock wall, that is March 23rd of 2018. 2018. Hello. Hold on a second. 2019. Second birthday. Second birthday. So, and then last year on April 27th, we got like April 24th, something like that. We got three feet of snow. So I'm just starting all my lettuce and beets and everything indoors and I will pop them out as soon as it's a sure thing. So... Pearland issued stay-at-home order as of yesterday. So I guess, so some of you guys are saying that yours just went to stay-at-home. And I 
guess I thought the whole country was kind of doing that. Or is it just being suggested and then in certain places you're told that you have to? Because our governor just put the hammer down a couple days ago. And it's essential businesses only. So before that, all the restaurants and everything had done, gone to drive through or curbside. But now it's just essential businesses. We have one grocery store. And I went yesterday. And I don't buy bread at the grocery store. But I know a lot of people do. Most people do. And I was sad for them because the bread aisle was completely empty. But what we have is we have people... Um, coming from hours away to their vacation home and staying here it's kind of bugging me I know that's their home but we don't have the resources like there's not there's one tiny little grocery store here and it's tiny and there's one tiny little hospital and good night it's just like please just stay put please just stay put all right let's see Yep, Julie, we're doing all that, like, on guard, under our tongue. I've been watching the, the old videos. Gives you credit, right? Okay, I'm lost. Sorry, I should have been reading comments. Too, too chatty. Oh, man. Robin, I know. I'm like, and then uh, I, I want it to open back up. I want everybody to be able to come and enjoy Door County for this summer. This is like... The vacation destination for the Midwest and so many people. This peninsula goes from like 25,000 year-round residents to a quarter of a million summer. I mean, it's just, this is where people come. They bring their whole families up here. They rent Airbnbs and do their family um, reunions. Or they have a cottage that's been in the family for so long or a summer home. And it makes me really sad. I like everybody else. I just want everything to go back to normal. I doubt it will, but. Okay, I'm going to skim through these comments really quick. I wish we were on a call so you guys could talk back to me while, while I'm skimming comments. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, I can't read these. I'm also, somebody just said her husband is an accountant. Poor Joel. I think he just got done with our taxes today. Is your door stained or painted black? Oh, they're really bad. It's stained and they're just horrible. It's just really bad. Maybe it looks, I guess it does look kind of cool on the screen, but in real life, it's, they're really bad. <laughs> oh, well. Oh, Wild Ones Homestead. I hope you get to. I hope that you get to. No more waiting. Christy. Hi, Christy. How are you? She's going to start gardening. Yeah, I feel like um, good pressure this year with gardening. Sometimes if it, you know, if the food doesn't, I don't get a, as high of a yield as I want to or whatever. I just think, well, no big deal. I'll run to the grocery store or whatever. And this year, excuse me, I can even tell that Joel is, he's even like, he's pretty jazzed about everything that I have growing in the greenhouse. And he saw my tray of onions today and he's like, oh yeah, let's do this. It's a good time to grow grow some vegetables. The tax date was extended. I know, but he wanted to get it done. Still have to pay the accountant no matter what. So I think he just wanted it done. And quite frankly, he's doing them in the living room. And it's like a paper explosion in there. Today I said, do you think we could just, you know, could we just tidy that up a little bit? Scooch a few things around. <laughs> Condense. <laughs> Oh, thanks. <laughs> Elizabeth says my lashes look great. I just put some fake lashes on because I had to film um, the intro and outro to the video that I'm going to hopefully release tomorrow. The day in the life video for March. And I get this. I got like all done with it. Editing. And then I realized that I didn't do an intro and outro. And those seem to be helping just kind of set set the stage a little bit for what the video is about and just reminding people to subscribe I don't know what is going on with subscriptions, but I'm stalking YouTube. I'm so sad about the subscriptions. I don't get it. Um, you know, it's, I like to see the subscriptions go up. Every YouTuber does, and they've just come to a screeching halt. And 
I am actually wondering if people, you know, they did, if they did like a sweep, like got rid of like the bot subscriptions and things and maybe people that hadn't watched in a long time got unsubscribed or something because I've had a few, like five days, I've had days in a row with no subscriptions, but thousands of views. I'm like, how is that possible? That's not how it works. People subscribe. It's annoying. So anyways, I got almost done with this video and then we were going to have tacos and I remembered I didn't I hadn't filmed the intro and outro and my hair just can't take one more day of grossness because I don't know if I'm going to get to wash it tomorrow it's just yuck <laughs> you guys are like wash your hair I'm gonna have to send Joel into town for just some crappy suave or something shampoo from the the grocery store because it's disgusting and so I had to like brush it and I'm like well I'm going to put uh Fake eyelashes on to film this so when you see it it's just scary don't look at my hair it's probably like shining in the light <sighs> the movie is in slow motion because this all just goes oh yeah the movie is in slow motion and a bad movie at that it's just bizarre it's just very bizarre I do get credit. Julianne, that's a very nice question. Thank you. Every time you watch a video, I get credit for it. I think even if you click on an ad and you don't even have to buy the ad, if you watch it or just even click on it, I think I get credit for that. Every time you watch a video, I get credit for it. It's weird. They like the thumbs up. They like the shares. Like if you see something, if you like something and you want to share it like to a group that you're in on Facebook or um, on your Facebook page with a link or something. They like that. There's all these, it's like the YouTube gods. You just have to kind of stay on top of it. They change things sometimes. It's bizarre. You have to word things the right way. You'll see like sometimes I'll have four titles to a video. And those titles are all based on research. Like I have to do research and see what will work for my channel. It's very weird very weird and that's why I really enjoy the artistic aspect of it like the editing and picking the songs and the photography aspect of it because that stuff is very like businessy Ugh, you know <sighs> oh you guys are sweet yeah go ahead give a thumbs up Nancy said too hi Nancy I do have Castile soap Lisa but it makes my hair I love Castile um but it makes my hair like have a film on it. I don't like my hair afterwards. Um, and that's what I used to use. I used to steep herbs and mix that steep, like the water from that with Castile soap. And I'd make my own shampoo. I think the recipe's on my blog. And then I would rinse my hair with vinegar. I loved that. I mean, that makes your hair feel amazing. Because then you're not getting the junk that's in shampoo. And even right now, I'm still trying to buy like the nicest sulfite sulfate paraben free shampoo that I can but um I loved making my own shampoo and using vinegar but then I color my hair so the vinegar just strips it I can't do that Mary okay Mary Mary was looking for farmhouse restoration and I showed up thank you for telling me that because in my tags I know that that's I love that girl I know that that's popular and we probably have audience that would like each other and so in my tags I will put farmhouse restoration so that means that that worked I love hearing that thank you so much and I'm gonna take another drink of water you guys are like enough with the water spill it all over myself I have cotton mouth it's gross Donna gives a thumbs up before she watches I do that to every YouTube video that I watch I watch um I watch a lot of guy YouTubers. I watch um, Dude Dad. He makes me laugh. I watch um, You Betcha. He makes me laugh. I watch, um, who's the other guy that's associated with them? What is his name? Charlie Barron's. That dude kills me. And I watch Shay Whitney. I watch... Um, what is her name? I can never remember. Dominique Sachez uh, down in Texas. I always give everybody's video a thumbs up because I know how much 
freaking time it takes to make a video. The one you guys are going to watch tomorrow, it's a good 12 hours of work from front to back by the time you see it. And, you know, maybe you make like, I don't know. I don't even know how much you make on the videos. $48. I don't know. After a month, who knows? And so I just always like to, even if it's not my favorite or I didn't like their music or or whatever, I just give them a thumbs up because I know how much time is involved in what they do. So I appreciate that. Um, Lisa is saying that she hopes I'm singing Junior's song every time I cook. Lisa, all day, every day. I'm making eggs for Mama Mia. I'm so kind. I'm so kind. <laughs> and all the kids, and all the kids, we have been singing that as a family all week long. Making eggs for Mama Mia. You guys got to watch the homeschool video, even if you're not homeschooling. Even if that's not even relevant at all to your life, you have to watch that video to see Junior. He's mixing eggs. I, I have like a half a dozen and a half eggs in a bowl and he's mixing them before I put them on the skillet. It's like his favorite thing to do. He just, that is his favorite thing to do. And he sings this song and I had my camera on the counter and I just grabbed it. Boop. Oh, thank you, Lord. I was so happy that I had my camera. It was just right there on the counter. And you know how sometimes if a child is do some, doing something fun, um, cute and then you turn on a camera they shut down he just oh my gosh he's so cute he just went with it wait till you see it in tomorrow's video i caught him sleeping i filmed him sleeping so precious so precious Lindsay found me through elliot homestead fabulous then you should listen to our new podcast Lindsay. shay and i have a new podcast together sometimes i tag the elliot homestead on my videos i forget to we should duh Julie found me through Jennifer. Okay. Had to rewash. Yeah, Tiny Love Boston. Yeah, it just makes it too filmy for me. But I love it. I, I miss doing it. But I, I, I can do it. Let me, let me speak clearly. If I could use vinegar on my hair, I would use the Castile soap. I would use my herbs and make my little homemade shampoo, and I would do that. I'm so kind. I'm so kind. <laughs> Julie's going to share this live. Thank you. Thank you, Sabrina. I appreciate that too. Sabrina loves the music. Um, I agonize over each song. And I have a wide variety of music tastes. I um, went through an inner city school in high school. So I love, love me some hip hop. Okay, so I know that's not everybody's jam. I also love country music, like good country music. George Strait. Old, you know, not what do they call that? Bro country or what's the pop? What's the pop country? They have a name for it. It's awful. Um, but yeah, I do really, really agonize over each song, and some of them I love. The video tomorrow, I'm so excited about the music in tomorrow's video. I can't take it. I found these songs that takes a long time. It usually takes me a couple hours to find you know, four to six songs or however many songs are in a video because you got to like click and it's kind of a slow website. It has to load and you have to listen to it. And sometimes it starts off really good. And then by the end of the song, it's just way too epic and it would be completely inappropriate. And today it was just like one right after the other found these songs. I was thrilled. awesome I'm so glad you're loving the podcast new country music is terrible it's really bad it is just now my nose is running goodness I'm falling apart um yes I just wiped my nose with my t-shirt it's great my t-shirt's inside out this is like my favorite gardening springtime gardening outfit here my Guinness t-shirt the neck was way too high so I went at it with a scissor so that's why it's all raggedy and a ratty old long sleeve t-shirt that my mom gave me. She's like, here, do you want this? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Fat. I thought it said fat free. Fat brie finished last. <laughs> oh my 
could read was fat free finished. Okay, fat free finished last is asking I, in my in the podcast. Um, we did one. Our episode this week was called um. What was it called? Pragmatism, pandemics, and something. What's a girl to do? I don't know. It was about growing food, keeping food, shopping during this time. And I was sharing with people um, a little bit, you know, just intimating about how broke we were. We were very broke. (laughs) It was frightening. Joel went, um, during the recession, we had a business, we were in the trades, and then when the recession hit, it was just like clockwork. The phone just stopped ringing. It was a re- it was a referral-based business, and the, the phone just stopped ringing. It was terrifying. Um, I had just had baby number two, I think, and uh, it was bad. He got like in a car accident, and our the car was wrecked, and we ended up getting an old Suburban, and then the door broke, and we had to duct tape it, and it was just like one hit after another after the recession hit we ended up um we foreclosed on our home um which was really sad because it was supposed to sell and then the sale fell through but we had already moved and it just wouldn't sell we couldn't that this this is the home if you have like the Fifi O'Neill book romantic prairie style this is the home that's in that book it was a beautiful home we could not give it away it was sad so um we just buckled down I mean as far as how we made it through that's what I was talking about on the podcast episode was I learned how to grow vegetables I learned how to grow food we got backyard chickens and hid them in our garage um we sold anything that we could so uh, uh, I was you know how I you see my furniture it's kind of like how do I do this faux finished and stuff I used to paint furniture and drive it down to this boutique in Chicago and sell it and um I sold anything that I could out of our own house like like got rid of stuff we quit quit drinking coffee we ate really really modestly um no data hmm okay so I'm back uh, so, <laughs> okay, Fat Free, I'm reading about your Instagram name. That's funny. I don't know why. My internet is just really bad here. It keeps saying that you guys aren't, aren't getting enough data. So, um, yeah, it was really tough and it lasted a long time. We just could not get back on our feet and we only did, um, probably, five years ago probably five years ago because I that and doTERRA was what did it I started with doTERRA um six years ago and I was really excited because I just wanted something I could sink my teeth into and you know it's like I had that like Scarlett O'Hara moment like as God is my witness I'll never go hungry again I was just so tired of feeling so broke I remember being at Target and I was pushing two kids around. I think I was pregnant with my third. And I grabbed a $4 lip gloss off the shelf. I wanted a new lip gloss so bad. You know, you just want something, some sort of pick-me-up to make you feel good and feel pretty. And like, I just wanted a $4 lip gloss. And I put it in the cart, walked around the store for my toiletries and other things that I needed. And I was so guilt-ridden. I could not bring myself to buy it. I put it back so I mean I I know people have experienced much worse financial financially but I have that story and I get it I totally understand it was a hard hard time that lasted forever I swear it lasted a decade Susan what's happening with the copper pans the what is today the um the copper pans got here on Sunday, and the boxes arrived by UPS last night. So I was expecting them. Everything's just like four and five days later than I think it's going to be. So tomorrow, I think as a family, we're going to pop in a movie and have a pan wrapping party and get them all boxed up and get them shipped out early next week. So resilience does make you stronger. I learned a lot. 
I, I hated it. I just remember all the tears and the crying and the resumes, filling out resume after resume, helping Joel with his resume, one after the other, after the other, after the other. And it was just so disheartening. But yeah, I'm glad that's in the past. <laughs> I can stay there. That's for sure. Oh, you want to see the black jacket that Shay was giving me hell about? I'll grab it. You can see it. Um, I wore it in the homeschool video. But I'll grab it. I got my pajama bottoms on here, so. Uh, the podcast, somebody asked what the podcast name is. It's called Homemaker Chic. This is the jacket. It's going to fit a little bit weird with two t-shirts on underneath. Oh, wait a minute. I can't find it. Where's the hood? <laughs> there it is. So see, this, this zips out. So you can take out the sweatshirt part. can't do the reverse thing so you guys are just gonna have to deal with me I cannot figure out that I'm reversed this is it I love it I love it it thrills me it's got like little buttons in the back so you can cinch it in and that is the infamous jacket that Shay was giving me grief about I hope you can hear me because I know I'm a foot away from the mic yes that's it that was a circus. <laughs> June is the last. There's light at the end of the tunnel. Don't give up. Oh my goodness gracious, Mary. That's crazy. Awesome. Uh, Jillian, I am Christian. Um, do I have any thoughts? Regarding the prosperity gospel. Yo, that's a loaded question. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't agree with it. Uh, I was raised uh, with that uh, gospel or with that uh, theology, I guess you'd want to call it. Um, and finally got to the point where I could figure out, like, look, you have a godly farmer in China in the rice paddies and he's poor and he's working his tail off and he's giving and he's doing everything that the prosperity gospel claims you need to do in order to be prosperous and blessed um like that's not adding up because it's not working for him and so i just don't like it it sounds very works driven and i think it's too earthly minded um, we give to the Lord because we're told to. We give out of obedience, not to get something back. It's not a you scratch your back and I'll scratch mine. I mean, it says given, it shall be given unto you. Um, but it's, I don't think that should be our uh, reason. And I just don't like this idea that you're more godly if you're more blessed and that you do certain things so that you'll get blessed in return. Is that that's uh, about all I'll say about that on a live YouTube. But if you if you look at um, the apostles and the people in the Bible and the Lord, Jesus was poor. <laughs> so why didn't the prosperity gospel work for him? And why didn't it work for the disciples? So it just doesn't all add up. There you go. <laughs> Julie, preach sister. Not my forte, but you did ask me. So I'm answering the question. Um, <laughs> t-shirt and flannel pants. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jean. <laughs> yes, I love these pajama bottoms. These are not my Ralph Lauren ones. These are like, like little thin ones and they're so comfortable. So, yep, that's right, Emily. Totally right. 
Uh, yes, Susan, I'm trying to... The, I need to go into PayPal and make a spreadsheet of everyone who bought one. I wish PayPal made it easier, but I have to individually open each person, copy and paste their email, and put it in a Google Sheets, and then send out an email blast once they all go out. So, Oh, Julia Miller accidentally ripped out her eyelashes. Half of her eyelashes on one eye. That sounds so painful. I pulled one out accidentally once, and it was horrible. Um, I read... I just heard the other day that, you know, castor oil will help because I wish I hadn't tweezed my eyebrows so thin in the 90s. Like, I wish they were a little bit thicker. Um, and somebody told me to use castor oil because it, it does something. Like, your skin doesn't like it. Oh, what, how did she describe it? It causes hair growth, she said. And that's why people use it on their eyelashes and their eyebrows. So maybe a little castor oil on a on a clean mascara wand take an old mascara wand and just put it on there every night I mean I know there's companies that have stuff there's some pretty gnarly products out there that would help them regrow I don't know that I would want to use those products forever but I probably would break down and use them if I ripped half my eyelashes out for sure Julianne wants a Parisian farm girl apron so do I um, but I've been receiving uh, feedback from people that they don't want their stuff made in China <laughs> So finding merch, I, especially an apron, I'd like to find a really nice apron. I mean, the Teespring t-shirts and stuff you can buy on the YouTube channel, that's fun. Holy cow, we've been going for an hour. <laughs> but um, I would like to find a really nice apron. I think that would be so cool. Um, the eyelashes can... can um, I think lavender. I, I have heard lavender is good for, for eyelashes. And rosemary is great for hair growth. So you could try that. It's just that oils hurt so bad if they get in your eyes. So castor oil, I don't think hurts. Um, but essential oils really hurt. So I, if you're going to do it, I would maybe put some on your, like, no, that if it gets in your eye, it's going to hurt. But you could put some on your finger and just pat it on your eyelid and see. But if you get it in your eye, it's just going to be nasty. Um yeah, it's going to be nasty. <laughs> yeah, see, Aveda has a product there. How about a garden tool bag? That would be cool. Do you guys wear garden tool bags? I'm terrible about that. I'm always losing my gardening tools. It's buffering. Yep. <laughs> oh, I just got a text message from my grandma. Sorry. I did freeze. Am I still frozen? Dang it. It says I'm frozen, but we're out of time anyways. So here I am just in time to say goodbye. Farmhouse and Boone has a lovely apron tutorial on her. Yeah, right? Sewing is fun. Sewing is like, if you... Try to sew, like get the easiest pattern that you can, or just start with a square, like an apron. Start with something really simple. But the more you do it, the more it becomes intuitive. It's sort of like being in the kitchen, where the more you're in the kitchen, then you can anticipate what's going to happen with the food or what certain taste things taste like or what sort of reactions are going to happen. You, you start to be able to anticipate your next move what the more you sew and I should talk I have not sewn in two years maybe I should I have my sewing machine right there I brought it up to my new office so yeah what's the Monty Don book title <laughs> the one I can never remember that one let's see here I just got this one, and then I'm going to jump off with you guys because I want to peel my eyelashes off myself. I just got this one by him called The Sensuous Garden, which I'm geeked about. It does go so fast, doesn't it? Um, and this is the one I'm always talking about that I can never remember the name. The Complete Gardener. Um, let's see here. Let's do some self-promotion. Here's uh, my Amazon shop. Uh, for 
forward slash shop. Forward slash Parisian Farm Girl. And all my books and makeup bag and gardening books and homeschool books, all that kind of stuff are in there. So you can check that out. And then, um, what else? Oh, I'm just going to say again, thank you to all my new doTERRA customers. I really appreciate it because um, that's how we make a living as a family. So I appreciate it. And I think like now more than ever, hello, use oils uh, to keep your immune system up for sure. For sure. Um, it won't say this here because I did not have time today to update my website, but doTERRA just discounted all their kits 20% through the 31st. So those kits you can find right there at shopoils.com forward slash Angela. So it won't say they're 20% off when you're there, but when you go to check out, they will mark down to 20%. So I would do that and I would start taking your on guard a couple times a day under your tongue, put it on your kids, your children's spine, take your lifelong vitality supplements, get your gut in order with Terrazyme and the PB Assist probiotic because that's where your health comes from in your gut. Like just let's all keep our bodies in great shape, get plenty of sleep, plenty of vitamin D, plenty of fresh air, plenty of water. Adrian made your first, Adrian, I just saw your order come in. Fabulous. Thank you so much. I do oil classes, Allie. I do them once a month. There are a handful of them on that uh, website pre-recorded that you can watch and then um, every month when I do them I send them non-customers register but my current my existing customers always get the replay so that they don't even have to to worry about it pain medications are fine yep that's okay um, <laughs> sit down sit-ins <laughs> that's funny okay all right guys Sue, you should get it from whoever you're most comfortable getting it from. I always ask for people's business because I think education is really important. And I've heard from so many people that buy oils from somebody they know that doesn't really do it as a business and doesn't really have the knowledge. And then they don't really get the support and uh, education as a customer um, that they want. It happens all the time. So that's why I always specifically ask for your business, but by all means, purchase your oils whoever, um, from whoever you're comfortable with getting them and take your zinc. Zinc is in the lifelong vitality, so that's good. Um, sorry, Nix, I beg to differ. So does Johns Hopkins. <laughs> uh, essential oils are very good for your immune system. And you do have to keep your diet clean. They are not going to save your butt if you've been treating your body like garbage. It's a it's a health pyramid. You got to do all the things. But essential oils definitely support that. All right. <laughs> no, don't start a war. Um, all right, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm gonna go take off my makeup and my bra and my eyelashes and get comfortable. Monday. Let's see what's coming up. Check out the Amazon shop. Check out shopoils.com. And um, what else? Tomorrow, I think there's going to be a new Everyday Chateau, Day in the Life in March. And then Monday, there's a brand new podcast. And if you haven't heard the podcast, go to um, Stitcher or Spotify or wherever you listen to podcasts, Apple Podcast, and check it out. You could binge. There's a good five or six hours of podcasts on there for you. And Monday, there's a brand new episode. So I love you. I love our Friday nights. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. Have a good evening. I'll talk to you later. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. 